Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing another planner switch. Um, and I, by switch, I mean with the cover. I'm still keeping this size planner. I just did it with my mini HP. I'm loving the cover that it is in. Um, I'm trying to switch to some really pretty fall colors. And so my mini HP is now in this Moterm cover, which is in the color taupe. And I want to switch my half letter planner that I have set up to another lighter color, which is this Motrum cover here. Um, and I think this one is like in a light brown color. And this one is for the size A5, but again, I'm gonna put my half letter in here. I do like this color, but part of me, now that I'm ready to like switch into these fall vibes, um, part of me kind of regrets not buying that cloth and paper that came out in the saddle color. Um, it was like a really rich dark, or like a brown tone. And they had the cover with no rings, kind of like this cover here from Cloth and Paper. Um, and I decided not to get it because it's in pebble leather, and I really do prefer the Safiano leather a lot more. I um, mean, I don't like the quilted caviar look either. So this is really my go-to leather type, and I didn't really want the pebble leather. But now that I see other people with it, of course, of course, it's getting to me of I wish I had that color planner. So. For now, um, I'm gonna do this lighter, like a almost like a a beige color. That's that's what this one is. This is the A5 beige Moderm cover. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna switch to this one here, and it's still gonna still it'll still get in my fall vibes that I that I want to transition um, in for the fall. So this was the cover I'm using. Um, my plan is to just simply move it over, but. I may need to take some things out of here because it's pretty chunky now. Um, and so I'm thinking I may start taking out some July inserts and then seeing what else is in here that I can take out and maybe reorganize a little bit. So I'm gonna take this out here and then empty this out. Okay, y'all, so everything is emptied out. So I'm gonna start flipping, actually. Let's see. So I know for sure I wanna keep this cover on here with this dashboard. So this is a um, dashboard that I got from Plan With Jazz on Instagram. I'm loving all of her fall boards that she um, has loaded to her account. So make sure you check her account out if you're interested in these. And then on the back, I have my Harry Potter vellum that I printed out. Here I have some stacked 2020 um, dashboards from Cotton Paper. Here's another one of her really pretty mood boards. Then this is um, a card holder with some journaling cards and some sticky notes. And I actually double-sided, um, used double-sided tape to put this on a um, glass divider. I just cut off the tab here. Um, what was happening is because this is much shorter, it's technically fit for an HP Mini, but because it was much shorter, when I would go to turn it would actually come off every time and so I just put it on this heavy duty divider and it flips much better <laughs> in that case here and then I have my inbox with some stickies this is going to be my divider that leads into my finance section there's nothing that I really need to switch here except for this divider I think I'm ready to put something else here so let me see what else can I put here all right, so I think I'm gonna switch out with this one, just just to put some fall vibes here. I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna rip out over here. There you go. Only because it has some like personal personal details, the personal goods. All right, and then I'm going to paper clip it like that. Okay, so that works, I like that. So again, this is gonna be for my bills, my finances. Um, and then as far as the inserts that I'm using for these, I have these old school monthly expense trackers from Cloth and Paper and purchase trackers. I haven't seen, or maybe they do have some new versions. 
I haven't seen them yet, but I'm hoping they come out with some more monthly expense trackers like this one here. This has been really useful. And then of course, purchase trackers. I do have these, but I also have um, like these password tracker sheets that we got in. And so what I'm doing is I'm gonna like redo this, the borders up here. I'll take this off. And I'll pro probably redo the headers, not borders, <laughs> the headers. And then I can just use this as a purchase tracker because it, it has four columns anyway. So if they don't come out with more, no big deal. I'm gonna use the ones that I got from my subscription box. Save on that paper. Okay, the next section is the weekly section. And again, it's a little chunky. So I think I'm gonna take July out. Problem is, I don't know where I'm gonna put it because I haven't, usually with like Happy Planner, I can just put, if I Franken plan something, I can just put it back in the original planner or build a new planner. But this one, it's just, it almost feels fresh. Like this would literally be the only insert because I started using weeklies around this time. So yeah, that's that's the dilemma. So I'm gonna, I am gonna take these out though for sure. And these inserts are all cloth and paper. I did get these from the subscription boxes. And I think what I'm gonna do I'm still gonna keep them all together like this. And I like to keep it there just in case I need to go back and reference something. Bam, my cloth and paper all perfect. All right, so September is set up. Did I throw October in here too? Yes, I did. So they just put, so this one came in the July subscription box and the October inserts just came out in this last subscription box. So. That has already been added. Then I have this um, transverse dashboard from Cloth and Paper. Here are my dailies. I haven't been using these as much because I now use my teacher planner. Um, so I haven't had to do a lot of dailies because most of my life is occurring with my teacher work. So I'm gonna keep that section that's there. This next part, this is a dashboard, Cloth and Paper. Oh, this last part is my notes section. So I have tons of like, paper in here from cloth and paper I think I have the corn yeah so I have these new Cornell notes in this memo paper here and then that's the last part of it so a little less chunky I think <laughs> I think it it should be okay it should be okay so and then the last thing I want to try to do is set up this section here um with the pockets that come in this Motrim cover I do have this larger pocket here and then I have a pocket, one pocket on that side and then two over here. And this has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets um, on this side. And then over here I have three pockets. So I wonder if I could put the cover in this pocket. Not too sure. Okay, so something that I'm gonna add to here, and I'm gonna make a video about this later on, but I'm gonna add these stickers to this planner cover. And the reason for that is because I am now doing my cleaning schedule in my half letter. And if you've seen my setup before, it has previously been in my classic HP, but I am now officially making this like the one and only catch-all planner in my half letter. So that new cleaning schedule has been moved to a monthly section in here. So those stickers need to be in here. I do like these message pages, so I'm gonna keep those there. Um, these are some dots from AliExpress that I like to use. I'm gonna put these over here now. Yeah. These are my cloth and paper stickers. Love all of these teardrop colors. These are so pretty. I'll stick those in there. Oh, these are for my budgeting. I'll put those in here too. Okay, so this is a journaling card from Cloth and Paper, but I like to flip this over and put these clear cards that we got from our subscription boxes that have the month on them. So just so that way it has something to look off of. And then I'll put memo sticker. I like to alternate do stickies and then I have so much more room now. Other than that, last but not least is this planner and now that I discovered this little pocket, let me see if this will fit in here like this without like causing any damage to the other pockets. Oh yeah. Okay, perfect. That works. I love it. I may switch these out. 
out these black discs again if this doesn't close the way I want it to. Um, but for now, this is going to be um, my setup. Not too much change here except for the planner cover. But hopefully you guys like this video. I can't wait to show you guys some more of my half letter. i um, make some more videos for you guys. If you like this video today, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I will see you all next time.